type of women want to bully a man into a relationship? Oh, you know, you owe me this. So you owe me five more years of a relationship. But bitch, I'm fucking miserable. You are making me miserable, bitch. You're not allowed. You're not allowed to leave her alone. You're not allowed to walk away from a toxic relationship. You're not allowed to say I'm not attractive to you. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. You don't turn me the fuck on. You are not allowed to leave her. You're not allowed to say I'm not attracted to you. You're not. So when you get around a woman and, you know, you could be cool with her. You know her. Y'all was cool. Y'all was friends. She's expecting you to be in a relationship with her. Or she'll bully you in a relationship with her. Or if you are in a relationship with her, you're not allowed to walk away. You're not. You're not allowed to walk away from the relationship. She's going to make you feel like you're supposed to be with me. So you telling me that you with a, you with a woman and she doesn't do it for you no more. Whatever fucking reason it is. You can find any reason. If you want to walk away, just walk away. Many bitches want reasons. Give her the reason. And the reason has to be okay with her. She has to approve it. Right? Think about it. I want you to think deep and hard. I want you to. I want you to think deep and hard. She wants you to give her an explanation on why you're walking away. If I'm with a man and you walk away, bye. I don't need an explanation because I don't do it for you. I'm secure with who I am. But when you're with a woman, she's not secure with who she is. So you have to give her a good explanation. The explanation better be right. Because if it's not, I'm going to destroy your fucking life. You could be tired of fucking. You could be tired of using her. A lot of men just tired of using the same bitch. And if I tell them that, they get mad with me. Listen, I'm in women groups, okay? I talk to women. I haven't been in a group for a minute. But when I was in a group, you tell them, you tell them the truth. He might be tired of just using you. You're he's using you. He's using you. He's tired. I mean, it, it he's just he he sometimes. A man just get fucking tired of dealing with the same bitch and the same shit over and over again. And even with that, that's not good enough for women. It's not. With women, especially a masculine delusional bitch, she's not done with you until she's done with you. You heard what I said? She's not done with you until she's done with you. So this is why she make your life a living hell. This is why she call you numerous of times. She goes to your job. She call your boss. She lies on you. Quote unquote the smearing campaign. Because you owe her. For her mistakes. You owe her. So she's not done with you until she's done with you. She's, she's, she's not, she's not done with you. So with a lot of women, you can't walk away from that type of woman. No, you're not. You're not going to walk away from this type of woman because she's not done with you. And you got to give her a reason. So she bullies you into the relationship. She bullies you. Oh, you're telling me I was an amazing woman when I did this, 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 this. So she'll go down the list of things she have done when things you probably never asked for. Things that she felt comfortable doing. But the things that you asked for, she never did. Like, shut the fuck up. Right? Then, then you tell her to shut the fuck up when I'm talking. She never does that. She'll do something the opposite of that. So if you say, you know, listen, look, um, thanks, baby. You did that. You did this, do that. But it ain't working out because the things that I want in a woman, you don't possess. And that's hard. That is so hard for a woman to accept. 
it's very hard because if she believe in her mind that she just this amazing woman and she did all of these things and on the list for you that you can't walk away because she brought these things to your life so she's not so so you can't walk away from the relationship you can't she bullies you into a relationship she do So let me turn my music back on. I just, I wanted to break that down. Sorry, y'all. She bullies you in to a relationship. Understand what I'm saying, fam. Women, this is how we think. Especially when a woman she puts herself in the the male role she's putting herself think about it she's putting her mind her mental her body in a male's role so she feels like she did all these things for you and you owe her what do you owe her you owe her the relationship because she feels like she's entitled to that She's entitled to that. Even if you didn't ask for it. You didn't, you didn't ask for her to come to your house every fucking weekend and cook dinner, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. You didn't ask for that. You didn't ask for her to go take your car clean and make sure it's gassed up and your, your clothes are on. You didn't ask for any of that shit. She just did it. But she's running down the list of things she did for you even if you didn't ask. And with the things that you asked, she didn't fulfill and what women don't understand is the things that men ask for in a relationship, that's the things that he desire in, as a man. I never hear men say, I desire money from a bitch. I never hear that shit. I never hear men say, I desire, you know, a woman to drive this type of car. I, I desire a woman to have these type of degrees. I desire a woman to have her own business. I never hear that shit. I always hear, I desire a feminine woman. I, des I desire a woman that's respectful. I desire a woman that she looks good as fuck and she compliments my masculinity and she shuts the fuck up when I talk and she just know how to be a fucking woman. That's what I hear. But women exchange their femininity for things. And they don't get that part. And when I tell them that they do, they act like they don't. You do. You exchanging your femininity for money. You exchanging your femininity for a degree. You exchanging your femininity for a car. You exchanging your femininity for a job. You exchanging your femininity for school. You exchanging your femininity for things. You do that. Damn. They do. So when you get around a certain type of bitch with the last bitch you was with, okay, she did all these things, but the bitch I'm with, this bitch makes me feel like a fucking man because she understands the natural order of the most high and she gets that part and she understands that part. But the other bitch, oh, I did this and I did that and I did this and this. He didn't ask for that. He didn't want that. That didn't fulfill him. Them things that you offer. Them things that, that none of that. None of that. Get it out your fucking mind. Throw that shit away. Because he didn't ask for that. He didn't. And if he did. If he required that, then he didn't want you as a woman. Because what makes you a woman as a woman is you can nurture a child. You can breed children. You can respect your head. You can be a comfortable woman in your home and don't have to worry about being in the motherfucking streets. That man didn't care for you. That's just facts. No real man wants that woman out there in the streets late at night working a fucking 10 fucking 20 hour job no real man real man wants his woman in a bed at a certain time 
So if you did all those fucking things for a man, he didn't fucking like you. And that's something you have to deal with. You can't bully nobody in a fucking relationship. That shit ain't natural. That's not the order. That, that ain't no order of the most high. That's some twisted shit you congered up in your motherfucking head. To make you feel like this man owe you his motherfucking testicles. You want a man to chop off his fucking dick and hand it to you. That's what you want. So when we talk about bullying a woman, bullying you into a relationship, she doesn't understand that order. So you have to give her a good reason on why are you leaving me? Why don't you want to be with me? What? I did this for you. I did that for you. I, 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 I fucking did all these things that you didn't ask for. But when he asks you, what about the things I said that in order for you to be with me, this is what I need done. Why wasn't those things fulfilled? Why wasn't those things done? And I can guarantee you it has nothing to do with money. It has nothing to do with things. It is not things. And women believe that, you know, I drive this car. You know, I, I, I made these degrees. I got this much money. So I, that makes me know. Because if you think about it, men with status and men with money, they don't even be with women that make half as they make. Men with a certain figure that they make. They're not with women that make more than them. Think about it. The CEO of fucking Apple. The men that own Apple. The men that got Amazon. The men that got fucking Netflix. They're not with these pseudo type fucking bitches. Their woman don't fucking work. They don't. So when you tell a woman, listen man, all I desire from you is cooperation and for you to listen because when you tell a woman that, you know what that means? That means I have to follow his lead. And masculine bitches don't want to follow your lead. Do you, do you get what the fuck I'm saying? I'm telling you some real shit. That's why the simple shit would never be done with you. Because it's easier to replace that simple shit with things. Okay, he don't want me talking back to him. Well, how about, you know, I, I go to school. I got my education. I'll drop my degree in front of you. How about I open up a business? How about I go get me the nicest car? What about my car? But that's not what I asked for. I asked for cooperation. Because the little things that a man asks for, women are not willing to give that to you. Because that means she following you. That means she's cooperating. That means she's listening. That means she's receiving you. Do you get that part? Do you understand that? When she's following your lead, when she's listening to you, when she's cooperating with you, that means that, means that you're leading. That's what that means, fam. That's what that means. That's what that means. It's so simple, but it's so fucking hard. Because women don't want to do that. Especially pseudo-masculine ass bitches. They rather buy a fucking car. They rather make a hundred thousand dollars, give you all of that, and tell you to stay in a fucking relationship. And take my shit. Take me beating you down. Take me lying to you. Take me, you know, saying anything and doing anything to you. Take the car. Take my degrees. Take my job. Because I refuse to give you that than give you this. And this is so simple, but I'd rather give you that because to me, that's big. But to you, it's simple. The simple thing to you, it's big to me. Do you get that? Do you get that part? Because the simple things to you is big for a woman because that means she has to follow you. And a woman, pseudo masculine bitch, she doesn't want to receive you. She wants you to receive her. She wants you to receive her. So you receiving a bitch. You listening to a bitch. You following a bitch. You cooperating with a bitch. That's beta. That is beta. 
and that's when you begin to question yourself and that is when you begin to feel like killing yourself because you would never make her happy you you ain't gonna make no you ain't gonna make her happy you're not you're not you're not but you think that cooperating with her is gonna okay you know i'm dealing with her and man my girl told me the other day that i need to lose five pounds my you know my girl told me that i need to change my wardrobe there you go following a bitch because you cooperating with her well my girl said she go out every weekend at two and i told her to come home at 11 but you know i i didn't let her i'm gonna let her do what she want to do because if, i'm just scared of arguing i don't want to argue you don't want to argue you don't want to go back and forth with a bitch but if you tell her you should be home at 11 if you tell her you know i want you in bed secure what women don't understand is that is called protection because you as a man know there's wolves out there she's not thinking in that logic she's thinking that those men are actually men that wants to be with her that wants to teach her that wants to lead her and when you try to lead her when you try to teach her she's not receptive to you you're more receptive to her because you don't want to argue you get it she bullied you into a relationship she bullied you she bullied you she bullied you into a relationship now you cooperating with a bitch now you cooperating with her and she doesn't cooperate with you now she's running all over you now she's doing anything she want to do because you're scared to argue so she bullied you into the relationship so now the things that you wanted from a woman you don't get that you don't get that you're not going to get that you're not going to get that respect you're not that respect will never come you're not going to get that what 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 women would do or what a pseudo masculine ass bitch would do she would disguise the shit that you actually desire in a woman and it's so natural every woman possessed it but like i said earlier in the live stream it is called mature femininity and a lot of women like that shit they don't understand it they lack the knowledge of understanding what they're truly here to do i understand that I'm not going to go out there and get a nine to five fucking job for a man. My job is in the home. I'm a woman. I'm very secure with that. I'm comfortable being in my home, raising my children. I don't want to be out there in the street. I'm not changing no fucking tire because number one, I have nails. I don't want to be in the sun because I'm worried about my skin. I'm worried about my hair. I'm, I'm worried about taking care of myself. And me being around strangers at the fucking workplace is going to drain me up as a woman. I don't want to be drained. I don't want to argue with no boss. I don't want no boss telling me what to do. My man tells me what to do. So what the fuck I look like being that type of woman? That ain't me. And she has to understand that part about her. Men love a woman with that mindset. Because those type of women are very secure and very happy. It's fun to be around. She, she, she... She just wants to be crumb. Point blank, period. They want to, they, they, they like that type of shit. They want to be comfortable. You know what I mean? 